Hey everyone, so I just bought a new tool off of Amazon. This is a coaxial crimper tool and it only ran me about $18, but I want to see if it works good and we're actually going to shorten a cable for my antenna. All right, so in the back of my house I have a rat's nest and for some reason I waited for the coldest day of the year to do this. And if you hear some background noise, it's probably just my heater. Sorry about that, but I'm freezing. And uh, what we're going to do is, this is 75 foot long. We're actually going to shorten this down to about 15 foot long. And this crimper tool comes with some F fittings. And the F fittings are for RG6 and RG59. This right here is an RG6, I believe. So we're actually going to shorten this up, and I'll show you how, how easy this is. All right, so in the box, you are going to get the stripper itself, which is your basic ordinary stripper. You can find these anywhere, and they're pretty cheap. There are some adjustments that I'll show you that you have to make. And then you got some F fittings here. And once again, these are good for the R36 and the RG59. And then you're going to get the crimper tool itself, which actually feels pretty sturdy in the hand. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about how well that feels. So let's, uh, let's take a look at a three foot cord first and I'll show you how this works out. All right, so we got a three foot cord here and I cut off the F fitting on the end just for you. And uh, I just went up and bought this just so I can show you how this works. And uh, so that's cut off. And now what we gotta do is strip this. So I'm gonna show you, and this is what it looks like on the other side. And this is the uh, R36. So I got this stripper here, and you can see there's two knives in here, and I will show you how to adjust this here, uh, because when this comes out of the box, it, it might not just work perfectly for you right away. And then you have a spacer in here that's basically numbered and has one letter on there, and all that's saying is there's different size cables that you can use this with, but because we're using the R uh, RG6, we're going to use the number 6 on this here. So now what I want to do is I want to take this and you can see here I'm going to slide it in on this side and we're going to go all the way flush right to the end there and all you have to do is turn this thing. Alright so here you go you can see it did not cut perfectly it wanted to start to cut into that right there you can see there's a line there but we have to adjust this tool so just because it doesn't cut perfectly the first time does not mean that this thing is a piece of junk you just got to adjust so you'll get a little wrench there and you got two little screws here this one here adjusts the knife or the blade that actually cuts closer to the copper cable itself so you're just going to tighten that about a quarter turn and that should raise the blade up enough that now we should be able to get a little bit closer to make that perfect cut so I'm going to cut that end off there and let's put this back in here again okay you can see that we adjusted it and you might have to fine tune it and different size cables might need adjusted as well so let's put that in flush again and let's turn it just a couple times and you'll feel it it'll start getting real smooth and just pull it out and there you go so now you can see that cable is actually sticking out now you have room that you can actually put that in the compression end itself so that's perfect that's just what we want to do and you can clean that up a little bit but all you got to do is adjust that you know you're going to have different size cables adjust it to where you get that perfect cut two knives two perfect cuts all right so now it's time to install the new f connectors here and you can see right here this is a compression fitting and just clean this up a little bit and what you're going to do is you're going to put that over top of this once you clean that up. And you want this right here, your little cable, to come flush with the top of this. So slide that on. You can see that's going to actually compress onto that. So push that on. And you want to make sure that that comes up flush to the top of that. Push it. And then you're going to have to like turn it and give some pressure to it and bring that up. So that compression goes over top of the jacket. Now you can see we're flush here, right? So all we have to do now that that is flush is grab the tool. All right, so now let's actually use the crimping tool itself. You can see this is where you're actually going to put the F connector here. and just locks in like that. And when you squeeze that handle, it's actually going to compress. And that blue piece down there, that's the compression fitting. That 
table is actually going to go in that hole just like so. Put it just like this. And uh, I'll tell you what, this thing's built pretty solid. Now, there's no adjustments on this. I've used this with a couple different F connectors, and they all work perfectly fine. But you just pull that handle down. You see how it compressed on there? That's all you need to do. All right, so let's do this on my rat's nest. This is the 75-foot coax cable that was outside on my antenna. Now, this is a little bit thinner you know the jacket's a little bit smaller than the other one it's not as wide and I gotta be honest with you I really shouldn't be using this here I should be using you know a cutter that has a rounded edge to it but I'm not really worried about it all that much so we might have to adjust let's check it out we might be right where we want it if not we'll just adjust the screws in the back and no it actually went pretty good you can see it might be a little bit that blade might be a little bit too high on there I could probably back that off a little bit but other than that, um, it was a really nice cut. It made two cuts, you know, one down to the cable, and then we're, we're good. So let's just slide this over just like we did on the last one here. Yeah, you can see it. It could be adjusted a little bit more. I could back that blade off. Slide that on, push down, twist a little bit, get that cable right up flush to the wall there. Still need a little bit more. Yeah, I think, I think we're good here. So now we're flush. So that, and you can just push that over a little bit and it'll line up right in the middle. So now all I'm going to do is get my crimping tool, put it in just like so, and I'm just going to squeeze the handle. And that's it. So nice and snug on there. It's not going to go anywhere. This is really easy. I, I thought this would be a lot harder. The only hard part about this entire thing is really just making sure that your adjustment's correct. And now I have about 15 feet of coax cable rather than 75 feet that was bunched up alongside the house. So it's going to look a lot better. And I got a lot of other televisions around the house that the cables are kind of hanging out from underneath the TV because I got them hanging on the wall. And I'm going to do this to all of them. So really easy to do. And you can see that it just lines up perfectly. And there you go. So as far as it goes with everything that comes in this box, listen, I got to be honest with you. Um, this is pretty easy to use. I was a little intimidated at first. Um, you know, it does come with the wrench. You can push this out right here for different gauges, but once again, we're using the um, RG6 and the RG59. You just put it on six and you're, you're good to go, but different gauges, you can use this. Uh, just turn it around and push it in, and that's it. And then the hardest part about this is actually adjusting your blades to make sure that you know it makes two cuts, right, because there's two blades in there. But it's pretty simple, and you can just store that, that wrench back in there. As far as it goes with the crimping tool itself, this thing is actually pretty heavy duty. I wish there was an adjustment on here. I've used different type of compression connections on here. I didn't have any problems, but some of these, you know, the more expensive ones, you can buy them that they can adjust a little bit so you don't have any wiggle room when it comes to the connectors. But no problem at all. It's pretty sturdy, pretty easy to do, and you don't feel any resistance when you're actually trying to, you know, compress those fittings. And then you get a bunch of these in the kit. And uh, these are outdoor or indoor. So these are really nice. And once again, they'll work on on both uh, coax sizes that we talked about. And you just can't beat the price. I think I paid, uh, like I said, 18, it's like 17.99 on Amazon. I'll put a link there, but real happy with this. And uh, I have a lot of televisions in the house that you know, the coax cable's a little bit too long on, so I'll be using this as well to fix those up. But now my antenna wire, my coax cable does not look as bad. And I'm gonna give this a uh, five star just because of how cheap it was and how well it works. So that's how you do it. That's you know, that's how you use these things and pretty simple. So if this review and this tutorial helped you, you know, thumbs up, it's appreciated. You know, comment, subscribe, check us out at www. Oh, and you can also uh, do this and just close it up like that. So that's nice. But uh, check us out at www.toyreviewzone.com and we'll be back with more videos soon.